Hello my awesome and amazing Pisces, it's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. New moon in the sign of Gemini and what does it mean to your zodiac sign and or your energetic force field or what messages could be coming in from the new moon in Gemini? We shall see. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Pisces viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number five. Some of you Pisces could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Power of number 12, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. However, could see the Hanged Man card, so definitely Piscean energy. You could be dealing with another Pisces. And power of number six, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. But adding up the power of the numbers brings me to the number 23. Some of you uh, Pisces were obviously either born in February and or March, but you could also be dealing with an Aquarius, definitely picking up on Aries energy, Gemini energy, again, Scorpio, uh, I'm seeing Capricorn. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or again, Scorpio energy. Some of you could have been born in 1951, 1952, 1953, or 1956. You could have been born in 1961, 1962, 1963, or possibly 1965. You may be 21, 22, 23, 25, 26 years old, and or possibly 31, 32, 35, or 36 years of age. You could also be 51, 52, 53, or possibly 56 years old. Okay, so, oh, there goes Toto. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm recording, baby girl. Hey, shh, you're okay. She must have heard something outside. Sorry, her bark is a little sharp. You're okay, honey. No, you're okay. Why don't you go lay down, baby girl? Lay down. There you go. Lay down. Okay, so we're going to go to the power of number 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Trusted ancestors of my Pisces viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, with this new moon in the sign of Gemini? Show me what's up. The Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Wow. There's new love, new soulmate activity. Right now, your heart chakra could be going through a healing process right now due to uh, maybe some disruption, we'll say, in the romance department. You could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio. Mm -hmm. What is this new opportunity in love for Pisces? The chariot, something about victory and success or forward movement. Pisces, you could be at a distance from the one that you love, or some of you could be doing some online dating, so you never know. Maybe you're getting potential suitors from across the country or wherever you're at in the world. But moving forward, there's something here about big love possibly moving into the month of June. Uh, well, June is now, but excuse me, 
July, possibly maybe during Cancerian and or Leo season. So we got victory and success. Or somebody's trying to head in your direction with a big love offer, page of cups. This could also be about flirtatious communication. Mm -hmm. Somebody could also be coming in to apologize, maybe beg for forgiveness or want to reconcile with you. The five of wands, there could still be some uncertainty or this person could be going through some form of an internal or mental battle right now. Or this person also too could have, you know, disruptions or, you know, chaos on the in their environment as well. Or maybe you've been experiencing the chaotic drama in some way, shape or form. But Pisces, you have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. A beautiful over the rainbow moment. So getting, it almost feels like getting out of some kind of conflict here. Um, I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Definitely feel that somebody wants to say something to you because we do have a communicator card. I definitely feel that somebody wants to get out of chaos or drama with you. What is this? Somebody here is afraid to contact. Maybe you're afraid to co contact someone in particular, Pisces, somebody that you really dearly want to reach out to, but maybe you're afraid of rejection or maybe that this person could end up being very conflicted or... You know, again, maybe some form of sense of rejection or they could be afraid that you're going to reject them. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Again, somebody coming in to uh, beg for forgiveness. So somebody here is definitely going to get <clears throat> communication or they could say, I want you. I want to be with you. I can't see my life without you. I regret lying to you. So somebody could have made some romantic advances before in the past that you could have fell into that love boat, we'll say, and it could have stirred up some feelings or emotions for you. Or maybe if this was you and at that time, maybe you lied to this person about your affections and, you know, could have put them into some kind of conflict. So take the rules how they resonate. But um Definitely communication is sincerely wanting to open up, but somebody's afraid of an argument. I think somebody's afraid, of, they're afraid of the argument. They're afraid that somebody's not going to believe them, meaning you. If they were, you know, to reach out to you, they may not believe you, or you reach out to them, they may not believe you. So, you know, there's a lot of back and forth. It's not like the energy is stuck. There's just this still a little bit of an undercurrent of uncertainty, um, especially if somebody moved on from the connection or is at a distance here, okay? Um, let's go into the uh, Romance Angel stuff. I feel like somebody here is daydreaming about you, Pisces, or you're daydreaming about this person. Because somebody definitely went into hermit mode. Somebody hasn't been speaking up. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I look at this energy a lot as uh, temperance from regular tarot. So some of you could be dealing with a Sag, Sagittarius energy going on. Attraction. Yeah. See, somebody wants somebody here. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment in this moment. <clears throat> Playfulness, yeah, there could be end up like flirtatious communication coming in. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. 
finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, somebody could have used the excuse that they work too much. Um, and even though that there could be, yes, an attraction or chemistry going on, somebody could have used the excuse that work was getting in the way, blah, blah, blah. Um, or maybe they felt like they couldn't come to you, Pisces, and or vice versa just because of finances. Who knows? There could be a separation, a split, a divorce that's going on, um, or just maybe feeling conflicted with friends or family members, just X, Y, and Z reasons. But somebody here is definitely very much thinking about you. They want to race and charge ahead and have this victory and success. They're just, they're a little fearful that somebody here is not going to be accepting or if you reach out to them, there could be fear with you. Um, some of you are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's not to say the earth signs are not there because like finances and career, that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have this like also air element energy through the angels. So Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. So just know that somebody is very much thinking about you. They want you, Pisces. I do feel that they will um, eventually reach out. So this new moon in Gemini energy could be stewing and brewing up some feelings or deep-rooted emotions with inside of them. Show me communication. What's going on? Surrender to the divine. So when this person reaches out, it's going to happen in a full moon stage. It might happen during um, a full moon uh, in the sign of Capricorn. That's going to happen on July 3rd of 2023. It could be in August, September, October, November, December. It might take this person a little bit of time. The answers that you need are coming. So we do have Gemini energy, but this is talking about a full moon. Full moon energy in Gemini won't happen until Sagittarius season, but we are technically in the new moon, the new moon phase of Gemini. So there is this desire that I feel like is going on behind the scenes of somebody trying to reach out and effectively communicate. I just feel that they don't want to be in any restriction or confrontation with you. This could be a friend. It could be a family member, etc. So... Just try to stay at peace, you know, focus in on peace of mind, peace of heart right now, Pisces, and, you know, maybe keep opening and activating that uh, heart chakra of yours, especially, you know, if you've been let down uh, badly before in the past, and maybe, you know, you've been going through this phase where you just kind of feel shut down or cut off from love, and maybe you don't want to really want to feel that way. So the more that we can obviously open up our heart chakra, we can start to receive that true soulmate into our life and using our best wisdom and discernment, okay? So my awesome and amazing Pisces, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.